Good morning. Good morning. Steaming. Steaming today. Steaming. Now we've got a belt, <coughs> and uh, we're going to build up steam on it and see how it goes. I don't like any trial run bit on it, but uh, we'll, we'll, this one will. As I say, I've got the steamer running, and uh, we'll get two or three sticks put into it and. Uh, See how it goes. In fact, I'm just going to do that now. The reason, see part of it there, the sun's been busy in the past two or three days, reorganising, we're speaking about reorganising this side of the workshop. And <laughs> we did reorganise this side, well, he, he reorganised it more than anything else. Uh, I just I had to go to the doctor. It was that bad. I was waking up in the middle of the night crying and all the this tools I had to throw out, and, oh, throw out. Yeah, I had to throw them out. Bags of them and this and that and stuff that I'll never use again. And I do try and sell stuff occasionally on Gumtree, but oh, give it away certainly you can do this, but sell it well that's another thing altogether, like you know, um <laughs> selling it's it's a completely different thing. Um uh, a chap on there I noticed that over the past month or so, and he's got a class as engineering tools. So if you hear it wasn't away in the background, that's the steamer busy working here. It worked fine, everything went together okay, uh, and on the trial run I did with it, it wasn't bad at all actually, uh, but we'll do it on camera and see how it, how it goes. Uh, I used a, a leather seal on the door. I should have known better actually because the leather when it gets wet and dry it hardens off and so I think at some point I'll probably need to go back in the door and uh, sort it out. I put an oak door on the front and an oak block on the back. It's the stuff I'm lying around, I just come out to see, but it seems to work fine. It certainly builds up the steam in that, but yeah, I what can you say? But anyway, get back to the, the, the chap from Gumtree who uh, he was advertising them as engineering tools there. And I just no watch no put my hand over this vent on this box. <laughs> Hot steam that. Uh, it started away about a month or so ago at a thousand pounds and now we're down to 350. And he still hasn't got them moved. There's, there's beautiful tools, tools from a age gone by. Ladles and big screwdrivers, all wooden handled stuff. I remember a lot of it when you were lads and workshops and that. But it's got it classed as a particular thing, but uh, in all honesty, we're lucky if he gets £50 for the whole business. That's how little they're worth nowadays, unless they're particular things. Um, well, I can hear this up to steam, I'll pop the sticks in. And uh, well, it's starting to build up ahead anyway. So I've got the bridges built inside it, so I'll just slide them in. And uh, See, this is a Mark 1 version. It might be the only version, man. So we'll just wait and see. Um, I'm just going to check the, how good it is. I don't... I don't I, I'm really going to try something. These are all sticks with the bark off. Uh, which I think is probably... the thing to do. Would it do it with the bark on? Mm. I honestly don't think so, if it did it would need to be in for an awful lot of time, but it's a very good steamer bag, it holds up quite, uh, quite a good heat in there. So as I say, I just got to go to the doctor, tranquilizer that we needed, but I know that I will never use a lot of them again, will never be used again, and if I go far with them, Once I got into the swing it, by the way, I was it started away with the sun pushing me along into it and then once I got into the swing it, throwing stuff out, I really got into it and started throwing stuff in the bags. And he was in at the back of me pulling stuff back out. I went, oh that makes a change, like you know, it's normally the long way about. But uh, he's done really well. He's, uh, and he's right. I do know that the decks need to be cleared every so often. I haven't been in 
over the past two or three years in workshops with men that I know that have died. And what a stuffy gal in my lifetime. She was, and uh, everything's got a use. Not so anything out. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, we do gather, gather, but it's the old story. If you go to a shop to buy it, if you find a shop to buy things nowadays, they find something that they can understand what you're looking for. And nowadays, I'm afraid it's, 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 it's a catalog number, screw fit, or I don't know iron numbers anymore. Um, used to be able to go into George Boyd's, Great Boyd's in Edinburgh, 40, 40 odd years ago. A massive place, full of stuff. And men who knew what the stuff was, who could talk to you about it and could uh, give you an understanding. They didn't have that particular thing that you were looking for, but come out with something else and show you and say, this will do the job. You could see it and it was a great time. But now we live in an age where this is not, unless you know exactly what you're looking for yourself when you go into these places, they're not very helpful. Uh, there is still one or two places that uh, still retain people, there's still men left with a bit of knowledge, um, but few and far between. And so you're at the mercy of, uh, oh, people will say, I think I'll do the job. In later years, I, I remember I had to actually. I had a chap who used to run and get stuff for me, materials and bits and pieces. And he would come back, it would be, it's not what I asked for. Oh, that's all they had. That's all they, that was the answer to me. That's all they had. Well, it's no good though. So at the end of the day, I'd end up stopping what I was doing if I was looking for something and actually going and getting it myself. Uh, <laughs> because it was just, it was hopeless, but, you know. That's the, that's the world we live in. But anyway, the transgress, we're off the bloody mark all together, like, you know. They say, the steamers now, I can hear it boiling away there, so we'll, we'll be pumping steam into the box. Now, time's another thing. I'm busy, so I'm feeling my way too, I'm not really sure. Um, probably it won't happen on this one, I'll probably need to make the next one, but just to talk us into it, uh, and we'll catch it on the next video, probably, because I. Some people say, I think it depends on the size of timber that you're steaming, but this is quite a good little box. Uh, and I'm going to try a quarter an hour this video in terms of hold up the steam. And I'll let it go for a quarter hour, 20 minutes, and I'll catch you on the next video. We'll take them out and see just how pliable it will come. Um, but as I say, I'm just feeling my way with it. Uh, it's, uh, but it's on my side, <laughs> I need to go to my side of the world, really. My side, by the way, isn't as sorted as his side. Uh, we've not got, uh, but he needs all the, 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 the tools he's got nowadays. Fantastic, it's all good gear, and uh, it's all fit for purpose. I'll say that for him, he's got a lot of good tools. Uh, and when I was looking comparison to mine, and I like a lot of Tools. I have through the years of trying to sell bits and pieces and got rid of things that I wouldn't need. But uh, yes, they are very, very good nowadays. And a lot of the systems you get nowadays, these rail systems with the plunge saws and various things, oh, fantastic. They've done with all that years ago, right? but didn't have it, I'm afraid. Right? But uh, when you're doing this, get yourself a pair of gloves. Um, because when you do take it out, open it up, it is. I think, we'd, uh, but I think we've got, I'll just open it a little bit and let's see whether the steam will pop at this end. We've got enough in it yet. Oh yes, oh yes, it's coming away fine. Um, we've got a vent hole in the top here. You can see it's starting to puff away. Put your hand on it. That's <laughs> hot, hot steam. It's about to say, wheels on this and let's go. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. And apart from the leather seal, which I, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to put curtains on it, 
when I'd done a shortcut version of what I was talking about, I'll do, oh, I'll do it with the leather. I do know leather when it gets wet and it dries, tightens, it hardens, and it's all that kind of thing. But I went for it that day anyway, and it doesn't work. Um, but I'll probably at some point strip it off and go back to what I was originally thinking about, um, or probably along these lines. Um, you can see that there's one or two little things on it. But the ones I used to see years ago just had an open end in it where cotton sitting in front of it, uh, so it'll work anyway, and a little bit higher at the, this end than that end, so as it, as it condenses inside, it drains to the, the tray at the back. Uh, if you want a kind of reasonable size of a tray, um, I mean that steamer there takes, it'll take nearly a gallon, uh, it's not far away anyway, uh, water, but it does pop through it quite uh, Quite quickly, so you keep an eye on the level. We get one with a level on it. As I said, buy it a reasonably good steamer, as, as good as you can. You know, these cheap wallpaper steamers, and the, the cheaper ones, yeah, they'll do all right. But I think I get, I get a, the better quality steamer, the better the, the result you're going to have, like you know, man. <coughs> but anyway, well, probably. As you see, it's working fine. We're steaming. <laughs> it's actually quite good for me. Being a smoker, it's, it's not bad at all. <laughs> the first first time I, I charged it up to, to clean it, I was a bit iffy, mind you. But in general, no, it's, it's probably a good thing for me. Uh, smoking, steaming at the same time. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.